Hi, everyone. Welcome again to Conversational English, Book One. Today, we're uh, starting with Unit 4, Lesson 10. Unit 4 is going to teach us a bit in English how to take care of our homes. We'll be cooking, washing, and cleaning during the three lessons for Unit 4. So,各位同学,大家好,从今天开始呢,我们会进入Unit4,那么第十课,从第四个单元开始,我们会教大家来讲到如何照顾我们的家,那这里面呢,包含我们会学到烹饪,还有呢,清洗,以及呢,这个整
I, 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 I am. <laughs> yeah, curious, <laughs> strangely. <laughs> Whenever I see people cooking, I get hungry. Well, maybe you can take a break along with us, run off to the kitchen and get a bite to eat. Mm, we'll take a break and we'll get a bite to eat. Okay, let's begin with our vocabulary list, the words and phrases. We Construction site. Construction site. 工地. A construction site can be a noisy, dirty, and even dangerous place. 工地可能会是个吵杂, 脏乱, 甚至还可能会有危险的地方. Frying. Frying. 煎. When frying food, be careful not to stand too close to the stove. 在煎食物的时候, Sunny side up. Sunny side up. I like my eggs sunny side up because only one side is fried. So I can enjoy looking at a yellow circle inside a white one. 我喜欢只煎一面的荷包蛋，因为我可以欣赏在一片蛋白中的黄色圈圈。Omelet, omelet. 欧姆蛋。My sister loves omelets because she can add her favorite vegetables and cheese. And fold them into her eggs. 我的妹妹喜欢吃欧姆蛋，因为她可以把喜欢的蔬菜跟cheese一起卷进去。Scrambled, scrambled. 炒。Use a fork to scramble your eggs in a bowl, then fry the mixture to make scrambled eggs. 用你的叉子。在碗里搅拌蛋汁，然后再用它来做炒蛋。You've probably seen this or heard this many times before, but this is a good example to scramble eggs. That's the verb form, and it's 过去分词 or PP past participle, then becomes an adjective. After we scramble the eggs, we get scrambled eggs. 嗯。好，所以呢，这边的话提醒同学们，就是这个句子里面呢，例句我们看到 scramble 它第一次是当动词用哦，就是这个搅拌。那么第二次呢，来做炒蛋的这个 scrambled， 它加了 ed 呢，不是过去式哦，所以 Bruce 老师刚刚有提醒大家，它是过去分词呢，把它当形容词用，也就是呢被炒的这个蛋，所以它是当形容词，不是过去式哦。Right. Okay, let's continue now with our next item. Excuse me. Excuse me. 真是不好意思哦。My new flat screen TV, washing machine, and refrigerator all arrived today. Excuse me. Since when can you afford so many new things? 我新买的平面电视、洗衣机和冰箱今天都送来了。哦，真是不好意思哦。从什么时候开始，你有钱买那么多新东西了？好，而且这边呢，我们一定要请布鲁斯老师再做一次那个表情，因为呢，同学们听到的 “excuse me” 通常是还蛮有礼貌的，哈，就是啊，不好意思这样子。可是其实还有另外一种表达的方法是什么呢？请看 ，“excuse me”<笑>。<笑>有没有好机车 ？OK， 所以各位同学，当你呢有时候听到人家这样跟你说的时候，赶快回头去看他的表情，你就知道你做的事情搞不好是很严重、很不好的事情。那赶快要小心 ，All right？ Got it. <笑> Character. Character. 好个性。
Jim has a lot of character. He volunteers to help others all the time. Jim is a good person. He always wants to help others. Coming up. Coming up. Immediately. I'd like a hamburger, a large fries, and a coke. Coming up. Is that for here or to go? 我要一个汉堡，一份大的薯条和一瓶汽水。马上来，要内用还是外带呢？呃，呃，呃。How do you like my new dress, dear? Uh, it's really you. 你觉得我新买的裙子如何啊，亲爱的？呃，可以说很有你的风格。Oil, oil. 油。If you don't use enough oil to fry your eggs, they will burn and turn black and hard. 如果你煎蛋的时不用油，蛋呢会烧焦而且变硬。Margarine. Margarine. Rumaline. Margarine is a man-made cooking oil which looks like butter, but, in my opinion, doesn't taste as good. Rumaline is 看起来像奶油的人工食用油，但我觉得没有奶油好吃。Okay, let's bring up three words because when we're talking about cooking, you have to know them. The first we just mentioned, oil. Sometimes we call it vegetable oil or cooking oil. Then, of course, margarine, which we also had. And from one of our earliest lessons, we also had the word butter. So if someone asks you about frying, you should make clear. Vegetable oil, cooking oil, the same as oil, or margarine, or butter. 好。那么 ，Bruce 老师其中有一个很厉害的一个天赋，一个 gift， 就是把事情弄得非常的复杂，但是呢，他又会很有这个条理的把它解释出来。All right， 所以呢，这边还要提醒各位同学，就是你有可能会遇到哦，就是当以后你在国外或者你跟外国人谈到说烹饪的时候呢，不是只有说啊用油。这样这么简单的一个字，那你可能会遇到的，就像刚刚讲的，第一个光是 oil， 它有分 cooking 或是 vegetable oil， right？ right. 这两个都是指食用油。那么另外呢，还会遇到就我们刚刚说的 rumaline， 还是你是用 butter 啊、呃、奶油来炒，都不一样。好，所以呢，这几个字可以学起来。Great. Okay, let's continue. Cut in. Cut in. 插话。It's impolite to cut in when another person is talking first. 当别人先开始说话的时候，插话是不礼貌的。Sweet, sweet. 甜蜜。Gary and Pamela are so sweet to each other. I think they're going to make a good couple. 盖瑞和潘蜜拉对彼此是那样的甜蜜，我想他们会是很适合的一对。Guys, guys. 人。Several guys in our class went camping together, but the girls stayed in one tent and the boys in another. 我们班上有一些人呢结伴去露营。不过，女生们睡一顶帐篷，男生则睡另一顶。Uh, we should say something about the word guy or guys. If you have the singular guy, it always refers to a man, a male. If you have guys, it could be a group of males. It could even be a group of women. But it can never be a single woman. Of course, it can also be a mixed group, men and women together. So, very quickly, a guy has to be a man, but guys could be several men, or several women, or several men and women. See, 
That's your gift. 好好，所以呢，我们再次的看这个 guys 这个字呢， Bruce 老师又把它先复杂，然后再帮我们整理好了。OK， 如果同学们你遇到了 a guy， 通常它指的是成年的男子。All right， 但是如果你看到的是 guys， 就是一群人，那这一群人有三种可能：第一个是一群男生，或者是一群女生，或者是一群男男女女都可以。好，所以你在用的时候，正确的用，那其实你会发现 guys 还蛮好用的。Okay. Okay. Great translation. Let's continue. Be married. Be married. 结婚 Since you're married, you shouldn't keep on going out so much with your college friends without your husband. 你既然都已经结婚了，就不应该常常跟大学同学出来玩，却没有带着你先生一起。Another thing I should add here for you, a lot of my students, older students, might say something like this: "I was married." They mean they are married. 现在是 but they use 过去式 "I was married," which means two things: they are now divorced, or their spouse, the person they had married, is dead. Oh, so be careful when you use that. If you are married, you must use present tense, or it could be very embarrassing. That's true. 好，所以这边呢，布鲁斯老师提醒同学的就是，在这里我们结婚哦，在中文它其实是动词。所以呢，为什么很多的同学刚会讲到说 I was married？ 因为它的概念就是我已经结婚了。OK， 所以它会用一个过去的式。可是其实注意哦 ，be 动词加上 married。在英文里头，它其实是表示一个状态，那么它是一个形容词 ，married 是一个形容词。所以呢，你如果说 I am married， 表示你现在是处于已婚的状态。那如果你说 I was married， 就表示我曾经是已婚的状态，但现在不再是了。所以换言之，刚布鲁斯老师说，要么就是你已经离婚了，再不然更不幸的就是你的伴侣呢已经上天堂了，所以你才会用 I was married。所以要很小心，要不然的话出糗了会很尴。Okay. Yeah. So be careful with that one. Let's continue. Act. Act. 做什么的行为 You should stop acting like a child, Mr. Rollins, and start acting like an adult. 罗林斯先生，请别再做出像幼稚小孩的行为了。你可以成熟一点吗 ？Jelly. Jelly. 果酱 I always spread some butter on my toast before I add some fruit jelly on top of that. 我总是在涂果酱之前会先涂一层奶油在我的吐司上 Preserves. Preserves. 蜜饯 You can see small bits of orange in this orange preserves jar. 你可以在这一瓶蜜橘子蜜饯里呢看到一些橘子的颗粒 Dozen, dozen. 一打 My guitar class has exactly a dozen students: six girls and six boys. 我教的吉他课呢，学生刚好有十二个，六男六女。Put on, put something on. 烧煮。I'll put some hot water on in case you want to make yourself a cup of instant coffee. Okay. 我来煮点热水，以备呢，你想要泡杯即食即溶咖啡。Fork, fork. 叉子 Eastern people usually eat with chopsticks, but Westerners usually eat with forks and knives. 东方人通常都用筷子吃饭，但西方人通常使用刀子和叉子 Knife, knife. 刀子 Be careful when you're using that big knife to cut up the meat, or you'll cut yourself. 在用那把大刀切肉时，你要小心，不然你可能会切到自己 
Bring it on. Bring it on. 放马过来吧 We have one more file to review before we finish this case. Do you want to do it now or tomorrow morning? Bring it on. I want to finish this case and then relax. 在结案前，我们还有一份资料要看过。嗯，你想要现在看还是留到明天早上呢？放马过来吧，我想赶快结案，然后可以放松一下。Giggle, giggle. 咯咯的笑。The girls were in the back of the classroom, quietly telling each other some jokes and giggling. 女孩子们在教室后面悄悄地说笑话，然后咯咯地笑。Well, that's a long list of words and phrases. I need a break, so let's take one. 我们休息一下，马上回来。Okay, we are ready now for part four. Just a, a reminder, a friendly reminder, that we also have the radio program every week, and you have every three weeks the workbook sent out to you. And I'd like to remind you that this week in your workbook, you can find a lot of verbs of manipulation, which means verbs that we talk about when we do things. Not just the names of objects.、Uh, very few textbooks have this kind of information, and I think you'll be surprised and pleased with it. 嗯，那么这里呢，在 Part Four 提醒各位同学的是，这一次的这个作业本里面呢，我们会教到很多的，就是呢，如何做事情的这个动词啊、哦，而不再只是教一些东西的名字而已。那么在这个部分呢，同学们学好的话，会发现它其实非常非常有用哦。Right. Okay, let's take a look at part five quiz. We have a closed dialogue for you. Two people will have a conversation. Some words are missing. You choose from a group of words which words fit best. Any ideas for breakfast? You know me. I always like the same thing. Actually, I do too. How do you want your eggs? I like blank eggs. Here we should choose scrambled because of the next sentence. I need a bowl to mix them up with a blank, and here we need fork because we use a fork to mix up our eggs to make scrambled eggs. The two sentences tell you what the answers are. Here you are. I'll make the blank now. The answer here is toast. And again, we have to look at the next sentence. I'm glad we bought a new toaster oven. The old one always burned the toast. So that tells us that the answer is she's going to make toast now. Do you want any blank with your toast? The answer here, of course, is butter.、Uh, if we had margarine or jam or jelly or preserves, we could use that, but they're not there. So the answer is butter with toast. Yes, it's a lot tastier than margarine. How about the bacon? I bought a new pack. How much do you want? A blank pieces. Well, of course, here the only one that works is dozen, a dozen pieces, twelve pieces of bacon. You can't eat that much. Bring it on. <laughs> All right. Okay, so there are our answers to the quiz. We hope you did very well. Now we're going to take a second look, our final look at today's dialogue.
Good morning, Mom. <laughs> Did you sleep well? Pretty well, thanks. You know, your dad sounds like a construction site at night sometimes. Yeah, I thought I heard him snoring. Well, he deserves a good sleep. He worked really hard yesterday. Is he up yet? I thought I heard him in the bathroom. He'll either uh, go back to sleep for a while or join us for breakfast. Speaking of which, would you like to give him a hand with it? Of course, what can I do? How are you at frying eggs? Sunny side up, omelet or scrambled. Excuse me? I didn't know you could cook so well. Where did you learn all that? At Janet's. Her mother taught her a lot of cooking, and they both taught me. Mmm, I like her character. Your dad always has two eggs sunny side up, and I'd like two scrambled, please. Coming up. Uh, Mom? Yes? Would you like me to use oil, butter, or margarine for frying? And where's the spatula? Uh, go ahead and use butter. It tastes better. And the spatula is in the counter drawer. Now, I'll make the toast. Ed! Do you want breakfast with us? Yes. Two eggs. Sunny side up, and two pieces of toast with bacon. Yeah, how did you know? Maybe it's because you've always had the same breakfast every morning for the past 20 years. And I've loved every one of them because you made them with love. Isn't that sweet? I can't believe you guys have been married for 20 years. Either, Either can, can I. I. You see, you even act the same. Now, should I place the jam, jelly, and preserves on the table? I'll do that. You fry up uh, half a dozen strips of bacon, Becky. Ed, have a seat. The breakfast will be ready in just a few minutes, and I'll put the coffee on. Bring it on. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have to bring on the end of the show, but not before I preview the other two lessons here in Unit 4. Next week, we'll be doing, actually not me, but uh, Betty and Becky will be doing the laundry. They'll be washing clothes. The week after that, we'll be washing floors not only the vocabulary you need to talk about these important house cleaning uh, chores, but uh, also the verbs that go with them. So join us again next week right here. We'll be back. I hope you will too. Until then, bye-bye.